Here's problem 3, 5. If vector C is added to vector B, the result is negative 9i minus 8j. If B is subtracted from C, the result is 5i plus 4j. What is the direction of B to the nearest degree? To find this, we need to find out what B is. So we're going to take these two statements, and we're going to subtract the second equation from the first. So we're basically going to subtract everything on the left-hand side and everything on the right-hand side. So we'll have C minus C, which is 0. We'll have B minus a negative B, which would be 2B. And that will be equal to a negative 9 minus 5i plus a negative 8 minus 4j. So we have 2b is equal to negative 14i minus 12j. Or, if we divide both sides by 2, we have that vector b is equal to negative 7i minus 6j. So that's our vector b. Nice to know. The magnitude of this vector it would be equal to the square of the components add together square root and that is equal to 9.22 so that's the magnitude of this vector. If we were to graph it it would look like this. Here's x and y. We would have to go negative 7i and then a uh, negative 6j. So right in here would be our, our vector b like this with those components. You got a negative 7i and a negative 6j like that. Alright, but we want to find this angle here. So just taking the magnitude uh, the inverse tangent of the magnitudes of our vectors of, of the y over the x. So inverse tangent of 6 over 7 is going to be equal to 40.6 degrees. That is our theta, actually. And if we were to define that theta, say, from the um, positive x-axis, we'd have to add 180 to it. So from this would be from the negative x-axis and from the positive x-axis we'd have 40.6 plus 180 which would be equal to 220.6 degrees that's the sure way to, to find out what our angle is just find it from the nearest point using positive values and then defining it from some other point, in this case from the positive x-axis. So it's 220.6 degrees from the positive x-axis.